And I have to say, your vaccines revealed knocked it out of the park. I know it changed a lot of lives. I'm sure you got some hate mail on that one too, right? Uh, I got a lot of hate mail, a lot of hate comments. Between threats, baby killer, conspiracy theorists, etc. Yeah. You know what? I, I, don't, I don't think this GMO... I, I, you know, a lot of our viewers, I think people are aware of the vaccine debate. Yeah. But not a lot of people are aware of the GMO debate. No. You, you said something today. You said, man, I thought I knew the debate. I thought I knew the issue with GMO, how bad it was. Mm -hmm. But it shocked you what you find out, found out. So, I mean, for people that don't know, kind of give them a little bit of background on what we're talking about, why this is a threat to humankind. Yeah, so uh, you, know, the G you hear people talk about GMOs. Maybe you'll catch little whiffs of, like, you know, a March Against Monsanto and, and some other things that come up. You're like... Yeah, bad idea, genetically modified foods, you know, franken food, you know, it blows, it gets into the environment, etc. They spray nasty stuff on it. But at least, you know, I can go to the store, I buy, you know, non-GMO foods, I buy organic foods, I'm, I have enough awareness to know try to how to avoid it. Once I got into it, and I got to tell you the scope of this thing, <laughs> it it's still expanding on its own. People coming out of the woodwork, and I'm not just talking about like remote, um, how can I put it, non-impact people, right. I'm talking about people of great influence, scientists, researchers, uh, and others, uh, you know, entrepreneurs in the health field, but I mean, people who have massive influence found out about the project, and we kept expanding the scope, expanding the production, expanding the budget, because yeah. of what they had to say, but it was jaw-dropping, and really, you know, it's hard to summarize, because literally, you know, we've got, you know, 30, 40 hours of content that we're editing right now um, into, you know, our episodes. But what I can tell you is this, is that everybody is affected. And I think the jaw-dropping part, more than anything else, was that you know, we live in a way that we want to help create a better world. You know, we want to help humanity. I started life as a chiropractor, you know, wanting to serve a community to lead them towards higher ground and wellness, all the work that you're doing in detoxing people. Yeah. And that's why your sensitivity is very you're, high. You're very yeah. high because yeah. of you know, your own personal experience and then what, the work and you're doing. I, and I see what it's doing to kids. Yeah. I see what it's doing to, you know, humankind. And, and incidentally, your, your module in this is just so great. I mean, you really communicate. I'm in this. Better. Yeah, you, you are in <laughs> I this. I was in Vaccines Revealed and I'm in this. I'm proud to be in this yeah. because, you know, this is something that everybody needs to know. Look, you, you gave this away. I mean, some of the group experts, I always talk about Stephanie Seneff, senior scientist at MIT, who showed that this stuff is forcing heavy metals and other toxins into the brain. It's leading to not just autism, even obesity, mm -hmm. leaky gut, food allergies, autoimmune. I, mean, I can go down a list of things that you know all of us are facing. Yeah. But so it, right here in the comments below, you can click on it to learn more and even a free link because you gave it away. It, yeah, basically, you know, we are gonna be releasing it globally for free, nine episodes. Every episode's one to two hours. We don't try to do sound bites. We're doing interviews where we go into deep dives to get the deeper understanding, which is what I figured out. And, and the thing that was chilling to me was the, the depth of evil that's here. Right. I mean, we have a, a, a will to want to help humanity, but when you start to look at, you know, really the malfeasance between so our government, between what we're told about you know, glyphosate and these substances that are sprayed on GMOs, what we're told about the safety testing in GMOs, and find out that none of this is true, yeah. and, that, and that there's a real big downside, and that what's driving it is this lust for money and profit, but at the expense of human life. Mm -hmm. so, so I knew there was a problem. I just didn't understand the depths yeah. of the problem. And I will also tell you, though, that there's people like you and others that it's not just, oh my God, this is horrible, but what do you need to know that, so that you can compensate for what's going on right now and protect yourself and protect your family? That's a big part of the program also. So it's not necessarily bad exactly. news for you and I because we know what to do. Right. But for people who don't know what to do, they're at such risk, these little children who have parents who are just simply unaware who are trusting people in the position of authority who are abusing that trust, those are the people that we're trying to reach now. So that's why we release it globally online for free. Episode one goes out on August 22nd. Registration to sign up for watching it starts uh, on, on uh, I'm sorry, I say, uh, it's August 22nd. Yeah. August 15th is when registration uh, starts, and there's a link, I guess, here that right you can, here, yeah, you can sign up. Yeah, and it's free. Listen, yeah, I, I think this is the why this is so important because. I have discussions with people and they'll say, 
Oh yeah, it's so bad. I mean, all the chemical glyphosate is being sprayed on these GMOs. You know, but then I watched them order something mm -hmm. and they didn't ask if the soy, the corn, which by the way, if it's not 100% organic, it's GMO and it's loaded with a chemical called glyphosate that Stephanie Seneff, who you interviewed in this, is talking opening up our, our blood, our, I'm sorry, our gut barrier mm -hmm. called tight junctions, driving this epidemic of food allergies. I wrote an article called It's Not Just Gluten. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Seneff believes it's not just gluten. And I say that because many of you understand gluten, right? We, we see people ordering, oh, I'm gluten-free, gluten-free. But w what the problem really is, is what we're talking about. That's right. Here. Yeah, so gluten caught the, the in vogue attention, I would say, of most of the public. But this is the bigger issue. Well, it's a piece of the puzzle in the sense you look at wheat. You know, wheat's a GMO. You know, they, they spray the crap out of wheat, out of corn, yeah. out of soy, out of canola. You know, there's all these things out there. But unfortunately, like you said, there's sort of like these popularized pieces of a puzzle that people say, oh, I only need to avoid that and suddenly I'm mm -hmm. safe. And it's not the case. I'm telling you that everybody is exposed. Uh, you know, this stuff is in the wind. It's in the dirt. It's everywhere right now. 60% of the rainfall yeah. has the glyphosate, which is being sprayed on these genetically modified organisms that are genetically modified to take more of the spray of the same company that develops the GMO seeds is developing the chemicals they're using on That's the right. Over 2 billion kilos last year is sprayed into the environment. Where, and it lives for 50 years. You know, in other words, it doesn't just go away. Yeah. So, you know, it, so it's, it's a massive, massive problem. So there needs to be activism, which is, again, you know, I'm, I'm already starting to receive a lot of hate because of, you know, the fact that people know that we're putting this out there. And, you know, to use a metaphor, we're breaking some big rice bowls. There's billions and billions of dollars at stake here. So, so now we're already getting attacked for the fact that we're producing this, this series. Um, and then, of course, once it's out there, we're going to be violently ridiculed, you know, and people are going to say we're conspiracy theorists. And, but I'm, I'm not asking anybody to take my word for it. Yeah, Look at the, yeah. the credentials of the people we're interviewing. Look at the science and data behind it. Forget all the name calling. Yeah. Forget you know, trying to attack me or anybody else involved by calling us names. Just look at the actual data and the scientists that we, we bring in that we're interviewing are bringing data to the program. And when you see the data and understand its full implications, there's only one conclusion, well maybe two, but one conclusion. The first one is, I need to take immediate action to clean this out of our lives. Because I could tell you, you, you or somebody you know right now is being affected by this. The, the root cause is unknown which means you get on a spiral of saying, well, I've got these kinds of problems, and you go into the medical system, and they try to drug you, amplifying the problems, and now you're bringing all these drugs into your body to try to compensate for symptoms that are happening. They're a byproduct of these environmental factors that need to get detoxed out of your body. Yeah, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then the second issue is some activism, meaning once you find out about this, share this with everybody you know, That's the key. and spread the word. Yeah. You know, right now, they're spreading GMOs and glyphosate into the wind, we need to spread GMOs revealed into the wind no doubt. and let people know about it. And that's the way that this whole thing comes crashing there down. Was a, there was an Italian scientist who took a lot of heat because he was one of the first to show that GMOs mm -hmm. actually can share DNA with your bacteria, etc. Yeah. And he showed that it was causing tumors in rats. Yes. Man, Monsanto came after him hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, he ended up to be right. It kind of sounds like one of those, you know, vaccine yeah. things. Now that we know... In fact, I mean, they criticize the rats that he used. You know, they criticize, I mean, everything about the study. When I read the study, I'm like, you know, I can, I've read enough studies to know that's a good one, that's a bad one. I'm right. saying, I can't believe they're criticizing this. Right. And of course, it's been repeated. It, you know, look, every one of you watching this wants the best for yourself, obviously, and for your family. Look at the science. I'm telling you, Monsanto's done, they, they have billions. They've done a great job of defending themselves, mm -hmm. defending their product. You know, and most of the people who even work for the company believe in it because they too have been sheltered. They, you know? They've been sheltered, yeah. and not only do they defend it, they've also been the up and they've gone offense. They've been aggressive, meaning attacking everyone. Their GMO seeds. So catch this. Their GMO seeds. Here's this GMO field that Monsanto owns, or, or they license to a farmer. You know that that has. You know, they're they're patented. That blows into a neighboring farm. That's another seed farmer over there. Monsanto comes and sues the seed farmer who never asked for this, saying that, hey, we have a patent on this and he's selling our seed and he now has to pay Monsanto. Can you imagine you can take yeah. something, 
plant it here, it's mafiosa. get the wind to blow it, <laughs> and then go sue everybody around yeah. as far as the it's wind can blow. It's legalized mafia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like showing up and saying, say, hey, we want our cut. You know? yeah. <laughs> well, and, what if we don't? We're yeah. taking you down. Yeah. You know? and, that's and, 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 and that's exactly what they do. Yeah. And they bleed them out. They starve them. These independent. So they have to succumb to it. So it's this ugly kind of Borg. So that, now there's been a violent backlash lately. People are starting to get you know, uh, hip to this, if you will. And there's been community uprisings. In California now, some things have just passed that might start turning the tide a little bit. So I'm hoping with our timing on what's going on that we're going to add a lot of fuel to the fire of, of pushing back against it and defeating this whole GMO uh, catastrophe. This is the biggest environmental catastrophe It's the biggest of all human time. experiment. Yeah. Well, yeah. okay, there's vaccines. Yeah. It's one of the biggest human experiments that's going on right now. I mean, literally. I mean, we, we have yet to see the backlash that's coming. We're seeing it in food allergies. Everyone's running around playing the food avoidance thing. Yeah. Gluten, this, that. You don't win that game. Yeah. You know, we're talking about, when we're looking at the science, glyphosate, you know, the sprayed on the GMOs, the GMOs themselves, are driving this epidemic of the food allergies. Avoidance is the first thing you do, right? I mean, that, that's it. You know, I, I think when we look at this information, for people, it's almost easier just to ignore it. Mm -hmm. But the problem is they're ignoring it, thinking it's not affecting them. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, it's affecting us all. Right. I mean, it is affecting us all. When people, I, I have so many friends of ours who came back from Italy, mm -hmm. right? We were having that discussion last night. Yeah. They said, you know, when we were there, I had not one problem. My wife had not one problem with her food, the, you know, her mm -hmm. symptoms. Mm -hmm. The first week back in the U.S., they started having problems. Yeah. And it's because they've outlawed these glyphosate chemicals, GMOs there, but we're still experiencing it here. I've had several people tell me the exact same yeah. thing very, very recently. And, uh, and Monsanto now is, you know, there's a transaction company where they're being bought by Bayer, which is a German company. And they're it's trying, a way in. yeah, and it's a way in now to right. the whole European. They're, they're trying to, yeah. you know, get this thing throughout the world. It's a, it's a major problem. So I think increased awareness is very, very critical right now. And I think that uh, you have to, you know, especially listening to your uh, episode, looking at how to detox how to you know, practice avoidance, but then take the accumulated toxins in your body and right. your children's bodies and get them out. Well, it's, it's two steps mm -hmm. if you want to beat this. Avoidance, number one, mm -hmm. and that's where education comes in, right? And I'll, I'm going to say a word there, too. And then number two, detox at the cellular level. Yeah. You know, the, the things that we're actually using, they actually use in the environment to bind glyphosate. Right. <laughs> we have to do the same thing in our body and cross into the membranes, right? Um, the, the thing I was thinking about is you, you mentioned California. And I, I think that if we, you know, I don't know what you learned on this. I'm actually curious mm -hmm. because labeling would be the answer, right? If, if America sees something labels like trans fats, we go, oh, that's bad. And people learn. So Monsanto has put, I'm sure, billions of dollars into beating this labeling thing. Over and over What again. happened in California? California, how did this not get on labels? It's just saying contains GMO. That's all. And it, they beat it. Yeah. Well, what happened was there... This is a very interesting thing, and there's, there's, a, there's a path here and a history, not just in California, but multiple states, where what they wanted to do was to simply, the, the activism was, we just want it labeled. If there's GMO products inside... If it's inside, so damn good, yeah. you'll want it on the label. Like, it contains GMO. It contains GMOs, that's all. I mean, they don't want that. that that's mm -hmm. what the FDA is for, <laughs> right? Is to say, hey, we have to properly label what's inside the jar. And the argument was, if you... Label it, people won't buy it. Well, oh, so so then the logic is let's hide from them what's there so they will buy it? I mean, if your product's so damn good, then why wouldn't you want to and, buy and, it? And it, it, here's it, what's very, very interesting is then they make the argument, well, if people stop buying, it's going to hurt all these farmers, and then it's going to have all this economic impact. Nobody's thinking about truth. We're not, we're not saying, it was, the request wasn't outlaw GMOs. I think that's where it should go. Right, absolutely. The request <laughs> was just tell the truth about what's inside the can, the jar, you know, what, just put it on the label and they, they would spend, and what happened was you see, wow, 90% support for these propositions to make sure you to label GMOs, et cetera. And they, they have literally a game plan that some weeks before the actual vote, the commercials hit, the flyers go out, the canvassing happens. Here's what's going to happen if this passes. It's going to, you know, you're going to find that you're going to get foods off the shelf of grocery. You're going to put farmers in this area out of business. You're going to, and they create all this fear and panic to a fever pitch, and they've been able to effectively defeat it. But now 
In a couple of states, the labeling has, has passed through. Mm -hmm. uh, in California now, there's, uh, I think it's Proposition 66, if I remember correctly, but they, they, they've got language that's, that's written in now to get the labeling out. And in some areas, what they're doing on, on local levels is they are literally banning GMOs in the town. And that's <laughs> where it can start. So if we yes. can't get the state to do it, yeah. you can say, hey, this is a GMO-free zone. This is a park where our kids play. We don't want glyphosate in yeah. the park where my kid is playing. We don't yeah. want glyphosate I've seen that in, in, Cali our in California. They did that. They were said vaccine-free zones. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. they had power in their little communities. Right? And, and yeah. that's so, so what we're really talking about grassroots, you're getting down to the, the, commu the local community. Mm -hmm. And they have jurisdiction over their, you know, their borders. Yeah. And if they start to outlaw GMOs in these areas, that can start to spread more and more. And I think we're seeing a sea change happen now. So the timing of GMOs revealed is such. And it's like anything else. It was the gut timing on things like yeah. the vaccines revealed. And I will tell you, you know, we're very proud of the work of vaccines revealed. We feel like it had an effect. I can tell you this production is a whole other level than what we did there. Yeah. It's, it's an amazing program. And I can tell you that uh, that I think that this the timing is right yeah. with momentum to change things. So uh, so please watch it. Yeah, you know, share. Again, it. You can watch yeah, the whole thing for free yeah. and share. It. Yeah, watch it. The link below for free. So and like I said, what nine days, right? Nine not, days. Nine and, episodes. You know, they get nine episodes for free. I think you have twenty four hours to watch each episode. Yeah. So, so every yeah, day we sure. release an episode. So, you know, you can right. watch it anytime during that day, and then we'll put that one down, the next one up. So over that period, nine days. It's one heck of a journey. You're going to be really, I think, shocked. You know, there's literally, even though this is nonfiction, it's dramatic. Oh, right. I, I'm literally sitting there with my jaw on the ground sometimes. I've had some of these scientists literally crying as they're explaining what the effect is on the world and what the effect. Literally breaking. These are scientists that are left brain geeks, but they're, they're breaking into tears as they start to consider the humanitarian impact of what's happening, and they know about it. Yeah. So uh, I, I think you've got to watch it. You know, when you look at statistics of. You know, by 2032, if the autism rate continues as is, one in two. One in two? Yeah. When I heard That's that. That's the trajectory. I'm telling you, when I heard that, I almost didn't believe it. But when you look at Senef, who is in one of the interviews, and you realize that this stuff is allowing things like mercury and lead that we're mm -hmm. just, you know, our kids are already loaded with mm -hmm. to cross deeper into the brain, you go... This makes sense. Oh yeah, yeah. It, and and, and you know, we talk about Ste uh, Stephanie Senef. You know, we're we're not talking about an armchair. You know, uh, you know, somebody who kind of has a blog. She's a senior. She's a senior scientist at MIT. Yeah. You know, so we're talking about people with credentials that are here. You know, cancer researchers. You know, medical doctors. I mean, there's a, there's a there's a cast of of people that have come forth. And I have to tell you, it's very brave for them to do so because yeah. there's a lot of for, there's a, billions and billions of dollars at play here, and really a government agenda to push this out there into the world. And we're being fed a bunch of lies about what well, people will starve if we don't have these, etc. And it's all debunked throughout the entire program. And then, of course, the solutions of what you need to do to protect yourself. If you care about your health, your family's health. Watch it, educate yourself, and please share it because this is a human experiment gone wrong Far but better. we need to educate ourselves so thanks man thank you thanks, thanks for, for what you it. do absolutely yeah. thank you all for watching thank you